Hi, my name is Paul Marslin, and um, I'm here to talk about Easy Asset. So, what is Easy Asset? Easy Asset is a web-based asset management system for both government and business, and then we also have another side for home inventories. And so, what we do with the government and business is we track computers, IT equipment, weapons, medical records for hospitals, and then on the home side, we track art, jewelry, cars whatever people have for their, for their assets. Um, so what, what are we integrated with with Google? We're, we're currently integrated with Google Docs for importing and exporting asset information into the system very easily and quickly. And then we are also integrated with Calendar for a maintenance calendar task for the assets. And then we just ported Easy Home over to the App Engine. The App Engine has been pretty exciting so far because of many different reasons, which we'll get into a little later. So, uh, a little bit of history for Easy Asset and its deployment. Uh, first of all, we started Easy Asset in Columbus, Ohio, and we had our own servers. And so we were managing as a hosted application uh, at, our own, at our home office. We then decided to move to the cloud because we had lots of ex ex expectations and excitement about the cloud, so we went to EC2. And so in EC2, they give you a very raw very raw set of servers, and so you have to control patch management, uh, load balancing, database management, backups, everything there. And so when we, we were on EC2 for about a year, and then App Engine was brought to our attention. Um, so we decided to move to App Engine for, for a couple different reasons, and mostly the reasons are, are maintenance and scalability. So Google is very, very good at keeping secure and scalable solutions, and so why should we, wa not waste, but why should we use the resources on our side to do things that Google is very, very good at? Uh, we are good at development, we are not necessarily good at server management, and so we're letting Google, we're letting Google do their thing while we get to do our thing. Some other things to add about the Google and EC2 differences um, so today we are using EC2 with a lot of our uh, integration points for our business. And we're using AuthSub for authentication means for Google users to be able to use Google processes such as docs and calendars for things that we didn't have to develop yet are still able to add a rich interface for our end customer. Um, for App Engine, for the reason that we're moving a lot, of, for the reason that we're moving over to App Engine is because we don't want to have to worry about this server, server, server integrity the patching, the security features, the backing up. We believe that Google should be able to, Google's very good at this, and we believe that we should let Google do what they're passionate about, and we will do what we're passionate about, development of a asset management system. Um, so, moving, moving, moving to App Engine. So there's been some interesting, interesting things with App Engine deployment. So we, so we had our product over on the EC2, which is, pretty much like developing in your own, on your own servers. Uh, App Engine is a little different. So App Engine provides this platform level which gives you the capability to have this scalability and, and high availability of your application to, to all your users. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. But at the same time, there's costs, there's pluses and negatives to this. Um, negatives are you have to, you have to develop inside this, this framework and this platform that, that allows for this capability and scalability. Um, so what that means is you just have to do things a little differently. One of the big challenges that we had was the database. And so today, or before when we were on the EC2, we were using a Hibernate connection to a Postgres backend, so a SQL-based uh, data store. Today, we're now using a JPA to go into the data store for the Google App Engine. Um, other things that were challenges were uploading. This seems kind of silly, but with normal servers that you have, you have, no, you have no issues with uploading data to them because you have control over where people can have access to and dump these things into wherever you want to do it. For example, images. So we take images for assets so you can take a picture of, say, your car and say, this is what my car looks like. Um, for App Engine, it's a little different. So we have limitations because you have to actually place this information to the data store. So there's a one megabyte uh, image restriction. So we had to we have to do some resizing of images as as people upload images that are that are very large. Uh, also, things that were technically difficult were 
there is a file limit size on the app engine. And so, let's say a thousand files, a thousand files, which is something that developers never have had to worry about in the past because you have your own server. It doesn't matter how many files that you have. Um, that's it. <laughs>